Silver! Homeward! A fiery horse with the speed of light. A cloud of dust and the hearty hi Silver! The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. No one could match his strength or courage, but his resourcefulness and his ability to judge character made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Westgate! Oh, Silver! Away! An excited crowd had gathered in the block beyond Westgate's business center and. Stand back, everybody! Stand back! Stand back, I say! Doc, how is he? Done for. You sure? You figure I don't know my business? Sorry, Doc, no offense. He didn't come to before he cashed in, did he? He's been unconscious since I got here. Anybody here know this fella? Oh. Who heard the shots? I did, Sheriff. Yeah? How many was there? Well, four, anyhow. See who done it? Not to recognize again, but I bet I'd know his horse. How? By its markings and its size. It was a kind of a runny, dappled gray. But you wouldn't know his rider, huh? No, I don't think I would. But all I could tell you was he handled himself like maybe he was a young fella, dressed like a cowhand. A big fella? Oh, about medium, I'd say. Mm, ain't much to go on. He, he headed west. West, huh? Well, there's a moon, and maybe we can pick up his trail. Hi there, deputy. Yeah? Saddle up. You and me are taking us a ride. Nobody recognized the man who'd been shot, huh? Nope, stranger, but I seen him. Did you get a good look at him? Yep. But you didn't know him. Well, like I told the sheriff, he, he handled himself like a young fella. Well, maybe the sheriff will pick up the killer's Yeah, trail. well, wait, just, just a second, stranger. He was dressed like a cow. He rode west from town. He probably stayed on the side of the river. It's in flood and dangerous to cross. Yep. Steady, Silver. At least that'll narrow the district. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> It was after midnight when a horseman reined in his lathered mount, threw himself from the saddle, and pounded on the door of a small cabin. Ray, open up. It's me, Ray. It's Herb. Open up. Herb, what's the idea of waking me up this time of night? Come out here. Now, look here. Ray, I ain't fooling. This is important. 
Shall I wake Bess up? If you had, you'd know about it. Then come out here and close the door. You blamed it, you. I should have let you go on hollering. Herb, you've been drinking again. Oh, not much. I can smell it on you. Look here. You gotta do me a favor. What do you want now? More cash? If you do, you can go to Paul for it. If I gave you any more, Bess would leave me. I want a horse. Huh? Right away. Let me turn this one into your corral and give me the lend of that chestnut of yours. What for? Can't you see I'm in a hurry? You have to stand there asking me questions? You've been up to something. I tell you, I'll I've got to... a million. You're in some scrape again. I'm not. Don't lie to me. You think I don't know the signs? Well, well what if I am? What's happened? Oh, nothing much. Look, Ray, can I have the lend of that chestnut or can't I? Not until I find out what this is about. Brother or not, you don't get no more help from me unless you explain. I've got into too much trouble on your account already. Now, what have you been up to? Nothing. Come on, talk. Well, I, I just had an argument. Who with? Oh, stranger, you wouldn't know him. I don't even know his handle myself. What was the argument about? I, I don't recollect. You don't remember? Honest, I don't, Ray. I swear it. You must have had plenty to drink. Ain't you learned by this time that you can't handle liquor? I never seen the time yet that you didn't go looking for trouble just as soon as you had a couple drinks. Oh, he started it. Uh-huh. According to you, the other fellow starts it every time. Well, what happened? Was there gunplay? Mm, it was just a fist fight. You beat him up bad? Mm, not so bad that he won't be along after me if I don't get started. Doggone it, Ray. Why can't you cut out the talk and give me a horse? I don't see why you're so anxious to run away. I, uh, well, I got a look at his gun. He carried two of them and they was notched. You, you could tell he was a gunman just by the way he carried himself. I got to hide out till he leaves the district. Yeah, huh? Oh, you know I was never any good with guns. What's Pa going to say about this? Uh... I'll fix it up with him somehow. Uh-huh, you likely will. You always could make Paul believe most anything you wanted to. That's why I kept you to go partners with him. Told me to get out and dig for myself. Oh, that wasn't my fault, Ray. Nope, it was mine. Huh? For spoiling you when I shouldn't have. For letting you talk me into taking the blame for your scrapes. Just because you was my kid brother. Ain't you going to give me a horse? Oh, I reckon I will. I don't hanker much to see you drilled, even if you do deserve it. Ray, I, I won't get this in a million years. Take the chestnut if you want him. Oh, thanks. I don't know what I'm going to... Oh, say. Huh? Uh, would you do me another favor? Now what? Well, there's, there's just a chance that the sheriff would be along looking for me, too. You even got the law after you? Well, he, he told me to go on home and sober up. Told me if I got in any fights, he, he'd see me jailed. And if he hears about me and that stranger, he'd just like him to ride after me. What of it? Well, you won't tell him you've seen me, will you? You think I'm loco? Well, I just wanted to make I'm sure... I'm a fool to help you, and I know it. But I sure ain't going to let anybody else know what an idiot I am unless I have to. The sheriff shows up. I ain't seen you since last week. <laughs> It'll be fine. And if he finds you, don't you go and make it seem like I'm lying by telling him any different. You can depend on me, Ray. Sure. To do the wrong thing every time. All right. If you're in such a hurry, get a move on. Ray? Yeah? Oh, nothing special. Just thought I heard something down by the corrals and went to take a look. Everything was all right, though. Didn't I hear you talking to somebody? Oh, <laughs> shucks, honey. You must have been dreaming. You go on back to sleep. But I was sure I did. You was dreaming, I tell you. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> if I'd been talking to somebody, wouldn't I know it? I'll go on sleep like I said. Aren't you? Pretty soon. But I reckon I'll boil me some coffee first. Less than one hour later. Ray. Oh, howdy, Sheriff. What's up? Step out here a second. Sure. Hello, Bart. Howdy. Well, what brought you fellas this way this time of night? Ray, I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want to warn you to be careful how you answer. Huh? We've been following a trail. It led us here. We had a look in your corral and seen a dappled gray pony in it. He belonged to you? To me? Why, uh... Why, yeah, sure. Sure he belongs to me. Mm, uh, loan him to anybody? No. Why? Now take a look and you can see he's been ridden hard and recent. He's still lathered. You wasn't riding him, was you? Oh, uh, well... Uh, was you? Yeah. Yeah, sure I was. But I don't see why... Where'd you, you go? Well, I, um... I started for Paul's place, but uh, then I turned back. What for? 
Well, as a matter of fact, Sheriff, I, I forgot about how late it was. When it come to me, I knew Paul wouldn't be up, so I turned around and come on home again. You must have ridden pretty hard. I did. You sure that's your horse? Seems to me I've seen Herborn one something like it. He's mine. But look here, Sheriff, what's the matter? I don't savvy what this is all about. There's nothing wrong with taking a ride, is there? You're willing to stand by all you've told me? Of course, but what's that... I'm sorry. When I seen where the trail was leading, I had a kind of hunch that Herb was the hombre I wanted. Wanted? Uh-huh. For murder. Don't try to put up a fight, Ray. Just come along peaceable. <laughs> Sheriff took Ray away with him. He wouldn't believe Ray didn't have anything to do with it. He wouldn't even believe me when I told him Ray'd been home all evening. He thought I was saying that just because Ray's my husband. I see. But why are you interested, stranger? Who's that redskin outside there? The Indian is Tata, my friend. We're interested because we want to see justice done. Why do you wear a mask? Not for any criminal reason. I give you my word. Why did you come here? We followed the same trail that brought the sheriff. And this is where the trail ends. Because this is where Herb changed horses. It's too bad your husband didn't tell the truth in the first place. If that is the truth. Oh, it is. I'm inclined to believe you. But there's one thing I don't understand. Yes? Why did your husband let his brother put him in a position like this? He's always let Herb make a fool of him. Yes? I knew them both for years before me and Ray got hitched. And, and I've seen it happen a hundred times. Ray's the oldest, so he's got the notion Herb needs to protect him. And Herb's took advantage of it. He's never got in a scrape yet that he didn't run to Ray to get him out of it. You said you went into town with the sheriff and your husband last night. Uh Uh-huh. You know if the sheriff checked on Ray's story? He sent his deputy. Oh? And Herb swore he'd never been near here. Knowing his brother would have to pay if he didn't tell the truth? He's a coward. He's always been a coward. I see. This man who was killed, did you know him? You any idea why Herb might have shot him? Ray said Herb had been drinking last night. Well, if you knew Herb and how he behaved with liquor in him, you'd know he could do anything. That's when he always gets in his fight. And he's just as soon fight with strangers as with somebody he knows. That's usually the mark of a coward. They drink to bolster their courage and lose all self-control. Well, thank you for what you've told me. You, you really meant it when you said you'd help Ray if you could? I did. And in the meantime, try not to worry. Oh, I- can't help it. You'll see us again. Come on, Tonto. We're riding. Blast it, you quit picking on me, Pa. Do you hear me? I won't be talked to like this. If you think I lied, why, why don't you come right out and say so? Son, I... I don't know what to think. Hmm? Then leave me alone. But I've been in town to see Ray. I've talked to him. I watched him while he was telling me his story. He's my boy, just like you are. I know you both as well as I know myself, and Ray looked to me like he was telling the truth. Then you're saying I'm lying. Son, look at me. I don't I don't have... Look at me, I said. What do you want? Son, I just want you to know I'm not claiming Ray told the truth, and you didn't. You're both my boys, and I... I never want to have to decide between you. Only, uh, well, you've done some things to be ashamed of in the past, and there's no use your denying. Now, look here, Pa, you always blame... Oh, I ain't blaming you. Anybody is to blame has been me and Ray. I reckon we were both always so busy watching out for you that we never gave you the chance to become a man. I won't listen listen anymore. Ray always had the notion that you have been my favorite. Ain't so, though. I let him go his own way and kept you here with me because I figured he could look out for himself and you couldn't. But let me tell you something, son, and don't you forget it. Why? If I ever find out you lied to me this time and let your brother take the blame for a killing you done, well, son or no son, the law, law can hang you. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. 
to continue our story. After leaving the ranch, the Lone Ranger planned to trap Herb. He ordered Tonto to remain in the district and keep an eye on the younger brother while he himself raced across country to the United States Marshal's office at Sageville. Then, three days later... I've been waiting for you, Marshal. What the... Masked. I've been three days in the saddle to get here. And don't you recognize me? Who are... Thunder racing the Lone Ranger. Right. I ain't seen you in better than three years. Where in Tarnation have you been? A good many places. Yeah, I've heard some things from time to time. I'm sorry, I... Marshal, but I haven't the time to waste and talk. I'm here on business. I might have noted. You can help me correct a mistake in justice. You recollect what I told you last time we met, don't you? What was that? Any time you needed help... Just call on me. It's yours and no questions asked. I appreciate that. Hey, what do you want me to do? A man was killed at Westport four days ago. Westport? Well, that's out of my district. I, I ain't got authority there. I'm not asking you to make an arrest. Oh. I want you to take down a description of the man who was killed. This have had me locked up in jail for a week and a half now. If Herb don't tell the truth pretty soon, they'll be having me up for trial and I'll hang. I've got to get out, Bess. I've got to. Shh. The sheriff hears you talking like that, Ray. He won't let me visit you no more. He's in his office. He can't hear us. Well, don't hurt to be careful. Oh, that rotten skunk. Ray, you can't blame the sheriff for doing his duty the way he sees it. Oh, I didn't mean the sheriff. I was thinking of Herb. Oh. After all I've done for him... He tricks me into a thing like this. You might have known you couldn't trust him. Well, I'll sure as blazes remember it next time. I... I mean, if I ever go free. Oh, Ray, you will. I know you will. Wish I could feel that way. Well, that masked man. Yeah, that masked man. You said he promised to find out the truth. Well, where is he? What's he done? From all I can see, he ain't done a thing. I... Here's the sheriff now. Is... Is it time for me to leave, sheriff? <laughs> Just stand away from that door, ma'am. What? <laughs> I got a job to do. Ray, walk out here. Huh? I said walk out here. Well, where... Where are you taking me? <laughs> no but place. Sheriff, but, Sheriff... You're but... free. Oh. What, what did you say? <laughs> Hard of hearing? I said you're free. You... You got a confession? Show him what you got there, Marshal. Of course. Marshal Cleary come all the way here from Sageville. And if I was you, Ray, I'd read that reward notice he's holding before I said too much about not being guilty. But but this describes a fellow that got killed. That's right. He was a crook. There was five thousand dollars on his head, dead or alive. <laughs> Which same is yours. Five thousand? Oh, Ray. You you mean that because he was a crook, I ain't to be tried for his killing? Just so. Young fella, when you drilled that hombre, you did the worst of favor. So if you drop back to my office tomorrow sometime, 
You'll find a check for 5000 already and waiting for you. Sheriff, I'm so doggone glad to be out of jail again. I, I don't know how to tell it. <laughs> I thought you'd be pleased. But I can't take that reward. Huh? Why not? Because it belongs to the fellow that done the shooting. And like I've told you all along, that fella ain't me. <laughs> if you ain't the stubbornest critter. Well, that cash is yours, so I reckon you'll take it whether you want to or not. Such luck, Barkeep. Arrested and jailed for murder. Then told he's free with 5,000 besides. Is that a fact, Doc? Sure is. He collects the reward tomorrow. Well, doggone. I got to tell the Ramses. They ain't heard of it yet. Get up there, boy. Get up. Go on. Get up. Here's what George Ramsey just told me. Huh? He got it from Doc Liscombe. Got what? Uh, the news about Ray. <laughs> I'd be switched if I ever heard the like. What in thunder are you talking about? Ray's free. Yeah? Yeah. And the fella he shot was a wanted crook. A wanted crook with a $5,000 reward offered for him. What's that? That's what Josh told me. Ray's getting $5,000 for shooting that stranger? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, luck. <laughs> ain't that something to shout about, huh? <laughs> well, uh, well, ain't it? Ain't you glad to, to know about Ray's luck? Hey, what's, what's the matter with you? Did Ray collect that reward already? Josh said he's supposed to get it tomorrow sometime. In the afternoon, he heard it'll be paid over at the sheriff's office. Yeah? Well, maybe it will, and maybe it won't. <laughs> Your first even to home in almost two weeks, and you won't eat a bite. Ray, what's ailing you? That reward cash. Well, why? Bess, what am I to do? I ain't got no right to it. I never shot that fella. I know. And besides, I wouldn't want it if I had. Well, it, it's the same as blood money. Well, I, I kind of feel the same way about it myself. But I can't make either the marshal or the sheriff listen to me. The sheriff says he was convinced I was guilty. So now he's just as convinced I ought to collect. And Marshall claims he wants that cash paid so as he can get everything settled and go back to Sageville. But you aren't going to take it? No. Then there's just one thing to do. Yeah? You march right up to the sheriff tomorrow and tell him so. Sheriff, I ain't going to argue about this no longer. Huh? Marshal, I don't want you to think I ain't grateful for what you've done, because I am. But if I took that cash by a lie, it wouldn't be right. Uh, the sheriff seems to think you deserve it. Sure, Ray does. Why? No. But I... You listen to me. I've claimed since the day you arrested me, Sheriff, that I was to home when the shooting happened. Well, all right, then. Suppose I take this cash. It'd be just the same as confessing I'd been lying all the time. <laughs> For $5,000, what should you care? And it's blood money. And just And Bess ain't no more keen on my taking it than I am. So you can save your breath. Tear up that check you're holding, or give it away to somebody else, or keep it yourself. I don't give a hoot. I won't have nothing to do with it. Well, what's you that? can't be persuaded different, Ray. I can't. Well, then, uh... Don't give him that reward, Cash. It don't belong to him. Why, it's Herb. Hey, what are you doing here, Herb? He can't claim it. It ain't his. But he just now said... One moment, Sheriff. Well, young man, just why ain't your brother entitled to this money? Because... Uh, you well, must have had a reason for saying that. And... All right, if you want to know. 
It ain't his, because it was me shot that hombre. What, what was that you said? It was. That calls for proof. I can give it to you. I can tell you every foot of the way the sheriff rode that night, following my trail. I can tell you just exactly when I shot him and when I was hit. <laughs> and what's more, if Ray don't change his story, he can back me up. He can tell you how I got him to give me a fresh horse that night. I ain't changed my story none. And you were willing to admit you tricked your brother into taking the blame, then kept your mouth shut afterwards? Uh, I reckon you'd have done the same if you'd have been me. I didn't know that hombre was a crook. I didn't want to be hanged. I reckon I wouldn't have done the same. Well, do you believe me or don't you? I don't know. What do you think, Marshal? I think he's telling the truth. Just like I suspicion maybe his brother was. Well, I guess that settles it then. <laughs> well, then, give me that check. Huh? If you admit I've done the shooting, it's mine, ain't it? Mm, I never thought of that. I'm but... afraid you've been tricked, Herb. Just as you tricked Ray. Oh, oh mask man. man! Tell him about it, Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, there is no reward. But what? I had the reward notice printed myself on the mask man's instructions. What? what? But that'd mean that'd mean that fellow wasn't a crook, and I could be jailed. Right. Oh no, no, wait, wait! I, I was just lying to get that five thousand. There wasn't a word of truth in what I said. Honestly, I'm wasn't afraid I... it's too late for that now. Lock him up, Sheriff. Sure. Not oh. so fast. The marshal's told you the truth, as far as he knows it. I went to Sageville. I gave him a description of the murdered man. He used that description to have this reward notice printed. Then I... But the man Herb killed actually was a crook. <laughs> Marshal, I found the evidence in your own office while I waited for you that day. Yeah? You had the fellow's description on a notice tacked on your wall and didn't recognize it. And what in took it did you have me print another for? Because the notice I saw had no reward offer. It simply stated that the fellow was wanted by the law. There had to be a reward in order to trap Herb into confessing. Then if he was a crook, he can't jail me after all. Probably not. But I'm afraid you'll soon learn there are worse punishments than imprisonment. When word gets around the district of what you attempted to do to your brother, you'd better disappear. I don't, and you won't have 5000 in cash to make it easier for you. He ought to be rid of a towel and a rail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't go Marshal. Things have been happening too fast for me to keep up with. Why didn't you tell me this was all a trap? You had me let Ray out of jail even before you knew for sure that he won guilty. There wasn't much danger of his leaving as long as he thought he wouldn't stand trial. No. No, maybe not. But that ain't what really puzzles me. No. What does? Well, what gets me is why a U.S. Marshal like you would take orders from a mask man. <laughs> Doggone <laughs> if I can savvy it. Uh, from any other mask man, I wouldn't. Any other? But from this one, I would any day. Gosh. Who is he? The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.